Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of programming in C++. Today's episode will be focusing on simple debugging and simple methods of checking for memory leaks. So for debugging you need the program GVB and for checking for memory leaks we are using the program called Valgrind as you can see here, Valgrind Memory Analyzer. So you need at least version 3.12 of Valgrind. If you're using version 3.13, you need 3.13 with the updated patch set. Otherwise, you will have a, a potential issue with the program asking you for an XML input file, even though you did not provide an input file. So I have the updated version. I'm using 3.13 and I tested it before and it is working fine for me. So, but first, Let's change uh, some of the methodology in this class. I imported the song class from a previous project and created a new project called debug memory. So the first thing we do is we remove those two lines and then we create a new function string song artist and void song artist artist right so that is the setting functions for the artist and the getting we do the same <clears throat> song title we do the same for the title so song title title so we go in uh in here right and uh song Song artist, right? Song artist. Oh, that's wrong. That's a void. Oh, start song artist equals artist. So, song, song title. So we're doing it this way because we will do something in the debugging routines later going through this code. Song title and more parameters in here. Uh, this song title equals title. Okay, so those are the changes we make to the song class. And then we go back to the main class here. The first thing we do is we create the include song and we remove using namespace because we will be using namespace ourselves. So we create a new song, song, song equals new song, one, two, and then we create a song in a different methodology because this will be helpful for using Valgrind song, song two. This is a song one and this is song two. Okay, so uh, let's see what we get when we print out songs. Oops. that song too. So let's see what happens if we run the program. There we get artist one, song one, song two, there we go. Okay, you see on the left side of line 10, I can press with a mouse button and this red dot appears. So what this does, it sets a breakpoint for the debugger. I can do that here as well and when I select start debugging you can see the arrow is now stuck here so that means now we're going step by step through the individual code lines and see what input we have on the variables so let's hover over song As you can see I get this little window here I expand the arrow and you can see the song artist one 
and it's a type of std string. So I can expand that and you can see O N E, right? And I can do that same with song title two. If I hover over song two, you see there's some uh, allocation things happening from before, which is quite funny. So however, if I go down here and I see step over, step into and step out. Step out is you're leaving the current function and you continue up to the next one. Step into is when you step into the function to analyze what the function internally is doing. And step over is when you just skip it. So let's go and press F10. There we go, we stip it and there we see song one, song two after skipping the function. Okay, let's move that a bit to the left so we have more visibility. So now I can hover over here, song, and I see exactly what I'm supposed to see. So I can press F10 again, F10 and nothing happened. That's it, we're done. So we can stop the debugging. Okay, so that seems to be fine. Uh, let's remove this <clears throat> and remove this and remove this for now. So the next step we do is we look at the code, what we did, song artist, song artist, song title, song title. So what we do is we do song, song artist, uh, queen, I like queen, so I just use queen. And song, song title, uh, I want it all, right? And then we use song two, song artist, Rammstein, and song two, song title, it's also Rammstein. Let's see what happens if we build, if it builds successfully. Yes, it does. So what we do, we set break to end here and here. Okay, let's uh, start debugging. So now we reached the uh, call song, song artist. <clears throat> so let's check step into when we press 11. We may have to press it a few times until we actually step into the function because there's a lot of operations with the std string library set. So, as you can see, after stepping into a few times, we managed to reach this function and you can see the arrow where you are. So let's check out the parameter artist queen. <coughs> Excuse me. So there's queen here. And what does song artist say? Song artist says one. So now, if we press uh, F10, so step over it. Can we check song artist again? We can check this again, and there you go. It has been changed to queen. So let's step over this one, and let's skip over this, and let's go in here in song artist. Until we are back in. So let's change the title to Rammstein. There we go. However, this time we step out. And when we step out, you see we left right away. And now I press 11 and I go back in. Oh, in the next one here. We skip into the next one, press 11 until we actually reach the function. There we go. Press F10, we're leaving again. Done. We had return zero, and that is the end of the uh, debugging. As we have seen, debugging is pretty simple. With this method, you can check if there's any nil values happening, coming up, if there's anything broken basically inside your code. It is pretty powerful, so make use of it whenever you can. Okay, let's uh, remove those lines here, the breakpoints. And now let's go into Valgrind, into memory checking. <clears throat> First thing we do is we go to Tools, Options, and we go to Analyzer and Valgrind. And you see, check leaks on Finish, and it says Summary Only. 
we select that and we select full. We want to check for everything. We don't just want the summary. So, and that is basically it. So all we have to do is we run valgrind memory analyzer. As you can see, there's this window coming up, others one, title two, others song one, title song two. Okay, that is fine because we're not printing out anything. We could print out the new song titles, but that is unimportant. But what you see down here now is 64 bytes in one block are definitely lost record one of one, main CPP and then line seven. So we are on main CPP and we are on line seven. So we are allocating memory for song, as you can see with a pointer. And if we remember, <clears throat> this is created on the heap. This means we have to remove it at some point. This is created on the stack and when it leaves the function, it's taken off the stack and the memory is freed up. However, this is not. So if we add delete song, we are freeing up the memory and then we can set song equals null pointer. So what happens now is if I build the project and then I analyze again, it's running again, I just one, two, I just song one, song two, press return to close the window. I close the window and you see my issue is gone. So now I addressed the issue of a memory leak and took care of that problem in that case. Of course, there is a lot more to it. There's a lot more which could be done. Um, I leave it with here for now and I say thank you for watching and enjoy your weekend. If you liked the video and watched it, feel free to press thumbs up or subscribe to my channel.